One question we get the most is which Canyon road bike should I get? Well, Nick is from Bicycle here and in today's video, we are going to be comparing the Aeroad Ultimate and Endurace, find out what the main differences are and which one you should get. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and without further ado, let's get straight into it. Throughout the video, you are going to hear the abbreviation CF, SLX, etc. being thrown around. These just stand for the different variations in terms of material Canyon offers. They differ in terms of layout, modulus, etc, etc, science, but all in all lightness, stiffness, quality and price. Here already the first difference between the bikes. The Ultimate and Aeroad is only available in CFSL, SLX and CFR whereas the Endurace excludes the CFR model and includes the basic carbon and aluminium version. Now starting off with the geometry and frame set, the Endurace has the most relaxed geometry with the longest stack and shortest reach. It'll sit you in a more upright position to provide more comfort over longer distances and be more kind to your lower back. It does not, however, lack in speed as it is sportier than the typical endurance bike. The wheelbase and chainstays are also significantly longer, which makes it more stable when riding at fast speeds and off-road, but the handling will be less responsive and slower in turns. The Ultimate and Aeroad are very similar in terms of geometry. The stack and reach are exactly the same and both will seat you in a racier, more aerodynamic position than the Endorace. Both will also be more nimble and precise in handling, however the Aero does take the edge here as it has slightly shorter chainstays and wheelbase. This in turn makes the Ultimate more stable. Further adding to the comfort and versatility, the newest Endorace AL and CF version have a tire clearance of up to 35 millimeters and also have top tube mounts for bags. The latest Ultimate is not far behind in terms of comfort as it allows you to mount a 32 millimeter wide tire. This makes it possible for both to take on light gravel, however the Endorace does take the edge. The Aeroad will allow a 30 millimeter wide tire, which is still pretty decent for a pure aero bike. All bikes are aerodynamically optimized in their own way. They all feature semi-integrated cable routing, however only the Ultimate and Aeroad have full integrated options. In terms of tube shaping, the Ultimate provides top aerodynamics, however visually one can tell from the thicker tube shapes and curved C-tube protecting the rear wheel that the Aeroad laughs at drag. Regarding group sets, there isn't much to discuss as all three bikes within the same price range will likely have similar group sets. It is worth mentioning that the Endorace is the only model that still offers a rim brake option. Nevertheless, depending on which model, there are variations in components that serve to reinforce each bike's main purpose. The Endorace comes with pretty standard road bike wheels, round handlebar and carbon seat post. However, the CFSL and SLX versions feature the shock absorbing VCLS seat post, carbon one piece ergo cockpit and aero wheels with max rim depth of 45 millimeters for even more comfort and speed. The Ultimate on the other hand features the new D-shaped seat post for improved aerodynamics. The wheels become more aerodynamic with a max rim depth of 50 millimeters and shares the same semi and fully integrated aero handlebar as the Aeroad. The fully integrated aero cockpit is foldable and width and height adjustable. This allows you to adjust the handlebar accordingly for specific races and allows easy transport. To further increase aerodynamics, all Aeroad bikes feature 62 millimeter deep wheels to maximize the sailing effect and the lightweight deep profile seat post to really cut through air. Weight is very dependent on the version and components. However, all in all, the Ultimate is the lightest of the lot with the lightest version coming in at 6.32 kilograms in size M, making it ideal for climbing. Then not far behind is actually the Endo Race with the most expensive version weighing 6.88 kilograms. And this is not even a CFR model. However, here the Ultimate SLX version is still lighter. The heaviest of the lot is the Aeroad, which comes in at 7.20 kilograms for the lightest model. This is expected as aero bikes usually utilize more material to make the bike more aerodynamic. However, it is still very light for an aero bike. Lastly, and probably most importantly, is price. Here we can talk about range and say that the Endo Race starts at 999 euros, so is the best, etc. But that doesn't really help us. For me, it makes the most sense if we compare three bikes at the exact same price range. Here we can get a good idea of what you're getting for your money. In terms of group sets, the Endo Race, in my opinion, offers the best with the Altero Di2 12 speed, but has an aluminum wheel set and weighs the most. The Aeroad offers the Altegra mechanical group set but a premium lightweight aero carbon wheel set and weighs the least. Whereas the Ultimate offers the 105 Di2 12 speed, also has an aluminum wheel set, 
but does feature the new fully integrated adjustable aero handlebar. So here it depends on what you really want in a bike. If an electronic group set is a must, then the Endurace is the best option in this case. If you want lightweight aerodynamics, then the Aeroad. If you want the best of both, then the Ultimate for sure. A lot to process, yes, which is why I want to make this final bit as simple as possible. Which one should you get? Well, if you are new in the cycling game or you are just looking for a very versatile bike that offers great comfort for long distance rides and can tackle light gravel, then get the Ender Race. If you are looking for a pure speed racing machine that is optimized for flat terrain where aerodynamic efficiency is paramount, then get the Aeroad. If you are looking for a well-balanced bike that can ride very fast, climb with ease and provide solid comfort, then get the Ultimate. These bikes are very popular which means you can easily find one used at a great price, especially on Bicycle.com. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and until next time, peace.